from Feldman has been on. from Felpen's been on just in the kitchen listening whilst doing the pots very rock and roll I want to tell my kids Jacob and Ellery well done on their end of year reports they've done amazingly I'm proud of them both says Lee it is that time of the year isn't it end of year reports time uh, so after me Joe Wiley Shiny Happy Playlist Culture Club with Emma Bullimore 9 o'clock one of my radio heroes Mark Radcliffe getting his folk on at 10 o'clock Trevor Nelson's Rhythm Nation and then it says here Midnight OJ Borge am I back again? oh I don't know I could do it I mean I'm tired and emotional but I'll give it a go or it might be Phil Williams who's in for me Uh, have a great rest of your Wednesday whatever you are doing Uh, thank you to Rosie Marie for keeping me on the straight and narrow ish even though they criticised both my sandals and my dad dancing it was the running man Joe's next. I'll be back tomorrow, same time. Have a great Wednesday. For the record, yes, I am dancing to this again. This is Radio 2 on BBC Sounds and on your smart speaker. Play BBC Radio 2. BBC News at 7 o'clock. This is Adam Porter. The Defence Secretary Ben Wallace has said he recognises there should be a financial award for veterans who were affected by a ban on LGBT people in the army. The government has apologised for the horrific treatment people suffered under the measure from 1967 to 2000. James Needham, the CEO of Help for Heroes, said they needed to be compensated. This is a group of people that have waited long enough. What we will do as a charity at Help for Heroes is keep reminding the government and hold all of us to account to make sure that we we restore that and we compensate fully, we apologise. This needs to happen quickly. This is a group of people who've been waiting 23 years too long. Economists say the latest figures on inflation, which has fallen to its lowest level for more than a year, should mean the Bank of England will raise interest rates less sharply at its next meeting. The interest rate currently stands at 5%, with recent rises pushing up mortgage payments for millions of homeowners. Dame Deanne Julius, a former interest rate setter on the bank's Monetary Policy Committee, thinks the next increase will be small. There's a likelihood that they will just go up by a quarter percent when they next think about this in in August. They might even pause for a couple of months, um, but to see what happens with inflation. Uh, But I would think probably they're going to be peaking somewhere close to six, but probably below six percent. The government is expected to miss its own deadline to provide schools in England with guidance on transgender pupils. Ministers had promised the information would be published before Parliament's summer recess, which is tomorrow. No new deadline for the guidance has been set. Jeff Barton, the General Secretary of the Association of School and College Leaders, says teachers are being left to navigate contentious issues on their own. What do I do as a teacher where a student comes to me and says, I want to identify as a trans young person, I don't want the pronoun he or she being used. So what what am I supposed to say in response to that? And I just think it will feel to many teachers, teaching assistants and leaders, they're being hung out to dry. The head of MI6 has warned that rogue artificial intelligence could pose a major threat to the UK and managing it will become a big part of the security services work. Sir Richard Moore said the technology poses opportunities as well as threats, which must be understood so people can be protected. North Yorkshire Police says a human skull found in a stream in the town of Pickering has turned out to be a very realistic concrete replica. Passers-by told the BBC they had no way of knowing whether it was real or not and called the police who retrieved the item. And the weather forecast showers will clear for most this evening, leaving clear skies and the occasional patch of cloud. Northern Scotland will still see some showers and thicker cloud. BBC News, it's three minutes past seven. Thanks, Adam. Joe Wiley's shiny happy playlist. There's going to be big tunes. Blowing the roof off radio too. Shiny happy. 
you want to get absolutely bouncing, this is where it's at. BBC Radio 2. Oh, we bounced last night. We certainly did bounce. I saw OJ bouncing along to Blur. Um, hi, welcome to the show. Thank you very much indeed to OJ. And I hope you've had a great day today. Uh, if you want to share with me the tales the triumphs, the tribulations of your day, then we are all ears as always. Uh, if you've just had a really dull day, we're going to brighten it a whole load with the music we have lined up for you in the next two hours. Uh, and we're just here really to keep you company with some lovely, lovely songs. Text number is 88291. If you want to mention for your gang, your tribe, even if it is a tribe of one, you are just as valid. 88291 and joe.wiley at bbc.co.uk. The Shiny Happy Playlist on BBC Radio 2.